the disciples approached Jesus and said, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? He called the child over, placed it in their midst, and said, Amen, I say to you, unless you turn and become like children, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. Whoever humbles himself like this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And whoever receives one child such as this in my name receives me. See that you not despise one of these little ones. For I say to you that their angels in heaven always look upon the face of my heavenly Father. Brother J, Brother D, Brothers and Sisters na lang. Wala ng brothers. My brothers did. Brothers and sisters in Christ. More overwhelming man na babae ang kadakanan na ito, no? Ang kalabanan. Ang mas maraming sa atin ngayon talagang mga babae. We can already count on our fingers lang ang mga dalaki. I bet kung may mga husbands kayo they were back in the Philippines. Sila kaya sa inyo dito ang mga mga anak. The Philippines mga anak. Okay. Okay. Sila ang may anak na 13 years old below. 13 years old below ang mga anak. So, hindi masyado marami. So, ang, ang karamihan ng mga anak nyo is 13 up. Yes. Mga signatures. The reason why I'm asking that is yung mga 13 below, ito na yung mga generation Z. And then the others, much younger now, are belonging to the alpha generation. In the Philippines na ay, I'm sorry. Di ba may bahay ni Kuya? Di ba yung big brother? And there is this batch of you know big brother na mga teams na ang kanilang ano is team is connection. And in fact, one time I was taking the flight to, was it to Rome? I watched a movie na yung mga artista is mga mga housemates. A movie is entitled Connected. Kasi yun ang thing ng box na yun. And I was struck by what one of the housemates na sinabi describing the Generation Z. Sabi niya, we feel so disconnected in a super connected world. We feel so disconnected in a super connected world. Wow. Although this is what they used to describe the generation C now, but I think even us, ako baby boomer na ako, no? Kasi 64 na ako, senior citizen. Although I don't like, look like 64, you know? Parang ano lang, 63, no? I think lahat tayo makarili, lalo na ang mga OFW living in a country not our own, na we also feel disconnected in a super-connected world. Super connected world kasi with the social media. Real time, we can connect. And yet, deep inside, we feel a disconnection. In many ways, and most of the scene in that movie was done inside a coffee shop. Kasi 
Lalo na ng pandemic, naging puso yung kapihan, di ba? Sa aming lugar, sa Senegos, maraming na come out to yung lockdown ng mga kapihan. Doon ako natutubog na kailangan talaga magkape pa umaga. <laughs> Pero ang ikig sabihin ng kape, kausapin ng Panginoon ng Kapitay. <laughs> Kasi especially in that situation where we are confronted by our mortality, anytime it can happen to us, we have witnessed some of our loved ones just died, even with, with not in our presence, not because we cannot come close to them. So we are really confronted with the reality of death and the mortality of our, of, of our own mortality. And so what to who do we go to if not in the world? And then we also realize during lockdown na may mas mabuti pa sa kape ang makapili natin ang mahal natin sa buhay. Kaya yung connection is mahalaga. And what makes us suffer is when we feel disconnected with the very person that we love and we wish they will also love us. Kasi open times we feel yung effort natin sa pagmamahal sa kanila para hindi nasusuklian, para hindi pasapat yung ating mga sacrifices na ginagawa natin dahil mahal natin sila. That's why tama yung quotation ng Genesis. We feel so disconnected in a super connected world. Pero ano ba ang pinakahukat niya ng disconnection? Is to disconnection natin kay Lord. Kasi ang pinaka-basic at fundamental naman na connection natin lahat is when we are connected with the Lord, we are connected with everyone. We need not be forced to believe it or accept it. Spontaneously, when we are connected with the Lord, one sign is that we feel connected with the rest of God's creation. That is why St. Francis could easily explain brother, son, sister, mom, sister, dad. Lahat ng reality, my connection para magkakapatid, hindi na para, hindi magkakapatid talaga tayong lahat. Pero yun ang nasira dahil sa kasalanan, we feel disconnected with God, and therefore we fail to see each other as a brother or a sister. Yeah, when I was sent by Pope Francis to the Diocese of San Carlos, Naging tuwa ko kasi ang kung saan ako nakapila ngayon sa San Carlos, ang tawag ng bahay is hindi Bishop's Palace, Bishop's Residence, or Bishop's House, ang tawag nila sa bahay namin, sa bahay ko sa San Carlos is Bishop's Home. And then yung liturgy sa Cebuano, when we come to the point of saying that the give each other the sign of peace, yung si Juan was speaking here, nakabantay ba mo, na yung ginagapit ng reciter is instead of mapigayan tayo ng kapayapaan sa isang isa, ang sinasabi is, ipakita ang pag-init sa unay. Translated, let us show to one another our brotherhood, our sisterhood, our fraternity. Immediately, parang pinaparecognect tayo to each other in that fundamental relationship before God that we are all brothers and sisters, magkakapatid tayo. 
hindi tayo kaaway, hindi tayo kompetitor, hindi tayo kalapan, makakapatid tayo. At yun ang pinakamasakit. Kung ang quality ng relationship natin kay kapamilya, pero parang hindi makakapatid. Kasi kahit makakapatid na kaaway, Iba ang dami natin misunderstanding sa ating mga kapatid back home. Parang tayo mga misunderstanding mismo sa ating pamilya. Hindi tayo pipili, tayo nauunawangan. At sila din, pipiting dahil hindi natin sila nauunawangan. So meron sense of this connection. And then, isa pang tagline doon sa movie na yan, na it struck me very much was, yung isang link role doon na sasabi we need to be connected uh, we need to be connected to a bigger and greater than a uh, we need to be connected to someone uh, actually ang original is we need to be connected to something bigger and greater than ourselves we need to be connected to something bigger and greater than ourselves. But I would change it to someone bigger and greater than ourselves. And if we are connected to someone bigger and greater than ourselves, as a consequence, we will feel connected with everyone. Not only with the human beings, but, but with the rest of God's creation. Kasi yung libro doon is yung meron siya advocacy also for in the environment. May advocacy sila for, for yun na nga, a restoring relationship. So yun, yung tagline nila is we need to be connected to something bigger and greater than ourselves. Because it's like, you know, for many of us, we live in a very narrow place na the world, yung world natin, yung iba sa lilit ng nila. The others are always seen in connection to what they will give to me, what they, what are they of use to me, what can they do for me, for me, para sa lilit. So ang kitip ko sa ilong ko, ang, ang, ang sikip ng mundo ina pag sarili lang ba? Yung iba, pamilya na. Outside of the family, wala paki. Bals walls, bali wala. Bals. <laughs> so, parang ang sikip ng mundo. Kaya dali maka-crisis, dali maka-depress kasi may pagproblema yung liit ng mundo mo. Parang wala ka ng balina na ita. Ang iba naman, yung kaligyon niya na, sikwano, lungko, wasay, lupano, makampangan, yung kaligyon na, hindi makalapas doon sa, sa iba. O may may Pilipino lang, 